Hey guys, I'm going to try to finish up my magic videos for this week uh, before the hurricane hits. And I went to FNM. It is now 2 p.m. No, 2 a.m. 1.47 a.m. to be exact. And I have a lot of work I actually need to do for developing some mobile apps and some websites have to launch. But uh, for the most part, I went to FNM. It was a poor decision. I went to Walmart. If you check my Instagram, I went to Walmart at 10 o'clock, maybe 9 o'clock. So FNM ended early because of the hurricane. Uh, if you don't know, in Houston right now, we're preparing for Hurricane Harvey. And Hurricane Harvey is a Category 4 hurricane, which is pretty big. And I went to the Walmart, and there was nothing there. There was uh, no flashlights. There was no... I had to buy $42 of candles, which is not great because I hate candles, but uh, my electricity will probably be gone. My internet will probably be gone. Uh, it looks pretty bad, and I've had my electricity shut down. When I was in Williamsburg, it was shut down for like five, seven days, and there was no water. There was nothing, right? Like no internet, no electricity, no water for five to seven days, and... It's pretty crazy, right? It's pretty crazy. Uh, your refrigerator is no good. You're eating cliff bars. And, and luckily, I have enough food and I am fostering a dog at this moment in time. So we're going to look at this. Oh, interesting graphics. Yeah, we love it. Um, and yes, yeah, so I made a critical mistake by going to FM because I should have been shopping for like flashlights and stuff. I don't know if I could have, like, maybe before then, they were already gone, but I probably had a much better chance than after going to FM until 9 o'clock. So I went to Walmart, there's no water, there's no snacks, but luckily I keep my fridge very, very much stocked. My home serves as a home office for my secretary. Uh, two secretaries and a personal assistant. You might ask what's the difference, but the personal assistant kind of does my galas and events I need to speak at and stuff like that. It's more like, it's not like my private life, but it's more like what I do after work, uh, which helps the company, of course. So back to the most expensive cards in Commander 2017. We have Kess. This is the, I think this is going to be the most popular Commander uh, coming out of the new ones. It's very good. Uh, there's not a question of how good she is. She is just that good. Um, on the other flip side, the wizard deck tends to be the cheaper of the decks. The dragon deck is the one that is most expensive. And it's quite funny when you kind of look at the card prices because the dragon deck, the most of the value comes from the dragon commanders themselves. And that's where all the value is coming from. Uh, typically, this is not the case many times, uh, not the case on many scenarios where you do look for the valuable reprint, which is in the cat deck. So if I had to rank the decks by price, I would say dragon deck is one, wizards slash vampires is some combination of two and three, and the fourth is the cat deck. But the cat deck has the most valuable reprint in it, but the dragon deck just has significantly better commanders. The wizard deck is kind of like in the middle. The reprints are okay, but for the most part, uh, the reprints this time around were, mm, I don't think they were that valuable, but the new cards were very interesting. The commanders themselves are going to be very valuable. I think just having a five color commander really opens new players in terms of possibilities and every new player is going to want to build five colors especially when it's five color dragon. The most expensive reprint is around six to eight dollars. It's probably going to drop a little bit more. It is in the cat deck. I just don't think a lot of people are super hyped for cats. Now, if you like cats, then this is deck for you. But I imagine that the people who like cats, there's many more people who like vampires being one of the traditional types, dragons, and in particular, five color dragons is very attractive. Or wizards, right? Everyone in magic thinks that they are a wizard of some type. Uh, a planeswalker, right? Before we had all these fancy planeswalkers, 
we just had wizards and you as the magic player like when they were doing commercials you're you are a wizard summoning other stuff and creatures and that's what you the player are you are a wizard so a lot of people can relate to it and that's why jace is so popular because he's your typical blue wizard planeswalker and he is the go-to he's the go-to guy for most of magic's i mean in the beginning of magic do you know who our logo was our logo was horlon minotaur that was the official logo. It was a two free minotaur for free mana and red. I used to see that guy everywhere. And now they just kind of left him in the dust for Jace. It's kind of interesting. Uh, here's another one, Ramos, uh, Dragon Engine. So like between the dragon commanders themselves, you're looking at pretty much half the deck. And then you get 97 other cards to make up the rest of the value. So... I think that's why the dragon deck is selling out the fastest because it is in fact probably the best in my opinion in terms of the spread of value as well as the value itself um, and also the excitement how many people are actually going to want this deck i think it's a lot five colored dragons uh, from what i've heard from the grapevine uh, again i'm not going to verify this i have no way to verify this but i heard this from a distributor who distributes to my friend's plays and who's trying to get them signed back on. My friend is probably going to sign back on. He is going to get some commander stuff as a favor, and then he might sign back on if he thinks Magic can sell. These are very limited. These are hard to get. Um, there's no talk of a second wave. Uh, it is the first wave, and then on to the next set. And that might make sense here because... There's so much magic product being pushed all the time that you can't really affect. Okay, so this is the cat, right? This is the alms collector, the $5 alms collector. So the cat deck value-wise is like okay, but after like you hit the first five most valuable cards, the rest of it is kind of junky. All right, back to the story. He's saying that there is not a second order. Or getting it so you have to make this first order now i don't know how much that is marketing trying to get him to buy something uh, that he may or may not be ready to buy now and i don't know how much of that is actually true but remember 2016 was a very popular commander series and there wasn't there was not enough for everybody so where is the best place to get them at retail? You have to go to Walmart. You have to go to Target, Barnes & Nobles, maybe. Toys R Us, that's a secret hideout. Um, I don't know if they still have it. I haven't not been to Toys R Us since last year when we were donating toys for Tots. This year, I'm going to make a video. Last year, we made a video. I didn't upload it because I had uploaded previously like a video of me giving really nice dinners to homeless people on the channel, and that didn't go so well. So I didn't upload that, but maybe this time I will um, on the other channel. Overall, great. The question is how much of this is out there? And from what I can understand, maybe it's just Mark, maybe it's because they want my friend to commit to the order. I'm being told there's not much of it. And my friend wanted to know if that was correct. And I said, yeah, that sounds about right. So it sounds correct to me. It's not raising any red flags. It's not like him saying that, oh, you know, there's only a very limited supply. It's him saying there's one large print run, and then after the print run dries up, there's no second one. There's no second wave. So the Wizard deck is pretty good. You have the most valuable commander in the set, and you have this one. The dragon deck is just more evenly... I like even balances because you don't know what's going to spike. And the fact that it's five color dragons, that's like every casual player's best trick. Like that's, if you are new to magic and you were given the choice of cats, you probably would turn down cats quite easily. Vampires, you might be like, mm, I like vampires. Or wizards, oh, I'm, I believe I'm a wizard. But dragons, uh, dragons has been very very close to magic the gathering as well as hasbro and wizards of the coast dungeon dragons of course and i can see that being the deck that every new player wants to buy and hence it's probably going to be a deck that will be in most demand and least supply anyway that's it bye guys